screenwriting to the production phase, and, and how do you get through it as a director or a writer? In, in, in which phase, sir? Sure, either the writing or the directing. Which, um, you know, oh, which do you ever kind of throw in the towel? I'm, I'm also in directing, so I'm just wondering how do you get through it and overcome it, and you, know, you get this kind of crazy. And yeah. Um, well, with this movie, um, I guess it, the challenge with writing was just how simple, actually this was like the challenge in every step, was just how simple the concept was and just making sure everyone was on the same page of the type of movie we were making because at the end of the day the footage was kind of like Play-Doh because we could mold scenes, we could make it, we can make this movie funnier. There's tons of improv and stuff that we shot, we shot improv for most scenes that just didn't end up in the movie because it wasn't quite the tone of the film. And, um, but, but overall, because it was so simple, the footage was so, like, malleable. <laughs> and that was kind of a, a problem with, not a problem, but a hurdle with uh, screenwriting and in production. Like, when do we don't do improv? Or when, when in the script um, is, I don't know, is it appropriate to kind of say, well, now we're going to add, you know, more comedy here, or let the actors kind of do whatever. and. Um, for me, I guess, just collaborating and just talking it through with the people I was working with and seeing what their opinions were, that, that was, that's always the easiest thing for me to do because I kind of have my own, I have my own thought and then I have my gut feeling and then whenever I talk to the people I trust creatively, it'll either go with like my thought or my gut and I'm not pointing, my stomach, I just had a salad. Um, but uh, one of those... I don't know why I said that. One of those two places. <laughs> um, and, and so it's, it'll either, like, depending on what other people say, it'll help me make a decision like, okay, we'll, we'll add more improv here, or we'll, you know. Would you shoot the script the first couple takes and then just say, hey, you know, whatever you're feeling on the next few, go ahead? Is that Occasionally, but usually the actors and I would talk prior to shooting for the day, like when they were comfortable with doing improv, or or if they didn't like a line of dialogue, it was something we'd usually talked about at the beginning of the day and not in the moment as much. The only in the moment decision that I thought was most influential was when they're outside the bathroom after the dance and Katie's crying. Um, that scene in all of our rehearsals had been taking a completely different tone. And then I saw her headspace when we were actually shooting it, and then that kind of affected the way that we shot it. But I think the important thing as a writer and a director, and and just being very much involved, and this also goes back to like the emperor's new clothes syndrome thing, <laughs> like I'm just being afraid of it, um, is just really understanding how the situation is going and how it's being interpreted by those around you, especially the people you trust, and um, and then being able to change or cut out things at any moment. And just knowing that I could trust other people with that was something that helped me creatively when I felt blocked. Like, okay, well, I could just talk to somebody. I can get through this, or I could just get past it. Because the worst thing about making a movie is feeling alone. Like, you're in it all by yourself in any stage. So, um, does that help? Well, yeah. Thought, gut, salad? <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought I saw one more hand up, but maybe. Was I was it? just yeah. wondering if you had any plans already for next. We'll see. I don't know. I'd like to do more comedy. Uh, I'd like to do more horror. I just want to um, do just more kind of authentic stories about young people. <laughs> I don't think if I wrote something like about middle-aged gangsters, that'd just be the weirdest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what is this person trying to say? I'd hate to see that. That'd be awesome. You have a totally different take on that stuff. Oh, that'd be so weird. I'd be like Bugsy Malone or something. Been a while. Um, uh, Emily, thank you so much for coming all the way up to Chicago and showing your movie. And uh, and like I said after the last movie, please, if you like the movie, tell the world however you can. Tell the world, let everybody know. Uh, and thanks for sticking around. Thanks for staying. I'm sorry. It's late.